of the forest. Oh, it is you, Sir Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> Ahem. Forgive me. Just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Sir Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? <laughs> Sorry, didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back. <laughs> Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> Hark. We can hear the soldier ants approaching. Onward and meet your tiny nemesis. Thank you for releasing me, sir. My people wish only to live our lives in blissful harmony with nature. But alas, the wicked egg queen has many of us imprisoned. Rescue my people, Mr. Fortescue, and you will be richly rewarded.
me if it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. Oh, lovely, lovely Amber. Here you are tonight. A wart covered and cabbage smelling old crone I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. You have helped to free all the fairy people from the clutches of the filthy and scum. As a reward, I can grant you passage to the Hall of Heroes. I've never been there myself, but I've heard they got a free bar. Fortescue, you jawless arrow magnet! What are you doing back here? <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty! How I pity the people of Gallomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you! Still, I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword, and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. <laughs> Thank you. 